Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sanforia and we are once again on the Baycraft SMP server. Now, uh, we didn't start on top of the stairs or anything like that today because I am a wisp. We're just flying around and having some fun. So I just finished recording with Somnia. Um, so hopefully, probably after this one because I've got to edit it, but um, hopefully that'll be up soon. That was really fun. We got some more work done on spawn. Uh, but... I just want to show you a couple of things that we've been doing here and then we're going to get on with some building. So um, I made a tank and I actually went up to one of the slime islands and um, thought, hmm, maybe I can pick up this slammer stuff with the bucket. And apparently I can. So I brought back, I ended up bringing back like 16 because I had 16 buckets of blue, liquid blue slime. So that's all in there, which is pretty cool because what I want to do is probably downstairs in like the machine room, when it's all sorted, I want to have like maybe a wall with like all the different types of liquids in it and the tanks so like I'd have the slime in one I'll have my XP in the other I'll have um, a, a glowstone one a redstone one and like an ender pearl one I think that'd look really really cool so that is what we were planning to do there um, yeah we've got more um, <laughs> more zombie heads it's just a bit crazy um, I think that's it I think that's all I need to show you apart from I made oh another elevator thing so we've got another elevator in here. Nothing else has changed. Um, oh. Apart from we seem to be out of Yellorium. Which is weird. Because I've had it turned off. Hmm. How strange. I don't think I've got any. Oh, great. No Yellorium. Okay. Fab. Just what I wanted to see. But anyway, I'm not bothered about that. That's not what we're doing right now. So, if we have a look in here, we have lots and lots and lots of clay. So, I have literally just a second been out on a mission to get more clay. Because we did not have enough. Um, I'd been out before and got a load. And, yeah, we're going to need tons for the project. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting building the witch's hat for our witchery hut. So, I'm so excited. Um, I got some quarried something or other. I think it's quarried stone. It looks a lot like marble. Um, this stuff, yeah, quarried stone. So what I'm thinking of doing with that is doing like the band around the hat with it and then we just need some... There we go, we already have some. Some yellow cobblestone to like do the outline of like a belt around a wizard's hat or something. And then I wanted it to be a real purple colour, but I didn't want to use wool. Um, just because like, sometimes it has like a texture on it, and I don't know, I just didn't want to use wool. So what I found was that out of all the clays, the one that actually looked the most purple is blue. Which sounds really, really weird. But the magenta one looks really pink. And if we look here, uh, light blue... See, this is purple, and it looks again. It looks really, really pink, but the blue stains look definitely more purple. And I did make some of the magenta one up, just to test it out and see. Here, look, and it is super, super purple. Oh, okay. So we will quickly um, hop out of morph and go to bed. And then, as you can see, half of the bed was dirt because I accidentally clicked to go to bed with a piece of dirt in my hand, and because it's a carpenter's bed, it put it there. That's why I was trying to be clever. Um, so let's just quickly, might as well just get the rest of this out. The other good thing with us using um, blue is that it uses, oh, collect it all back up please, there we go. The other good thing is that it uses um, lapis, which we have loads of. Um, if we were having to use like purple dye, I don't have the amount of flowers that we'd need, so it would have been a pain. Um, Let's just switch into wisp. I will say that um, my mouse is still double clicking, so I apologise. Um, what have I changed? Nothing really. I've lit up the area a bit, um, bit better. This is where the uh, thumbcraft area is going to be. The um, not the thumbcraft area. The the actual altar for thumbcraft. So these little bricks and there's going to be more than that. It looks more way more impressive than that. But that's going to go underneath that tree with a little bridge across. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but hey ho. So a little bridge is here. It's not really done anything on that apart from plant a rainbow tree on top of it because you know rainbows. 
and I went crazy um, lighting up this area too because there was all sorts over here and they seem to have gone but when I quickly hopped over I saw a creeper die and I was like hmm and so I came over here to have a look and it was because an endermini had killed him but there was actually like five or six enderminis just chilling out over here it was really cool it's like wow so yeah, so all I've done is light up this area like crazy, even down in the cave down there I've lit it up, probably going to cover that up eventually, and um, flattens this little area out because I think that this would be a good shape, so like a nice oval shape. So what I'm thinking is it's going to be oval and then it's going to go up and then it's going to like come off to a point but slightly to one side. So I've not really actually seen... Um, God, double clicking. I've not really seen like any pictures or anything to go from, which probably would have been a good idea. But we're just gonna see what happens and see what we get. So if we go around like this, maybe to like here. So this bit does need to be more rounder, like this. Yeah, that looks a bit better. So if we do this on the same, put it over here as well. You know, it doesn't need to be symmetrical because we're not going to see like, it's not going to be able to be seen, if you know what I mean, like the shape that it's not symmetrical, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to impact too much. Okay, so that looks a bit crazy just because of that. Um, and all these extra bits that don't need to be here. Okay. Um, so let's just get rid of these bits. There we go. You can go. You can go. You can go. So what about that? Oh, that looks pretty cool. That's all right. Um, my only worry is that it's quite small. Um, hmm. because not that we need like tons of space we need space around it to put the um, circle magic but that can go somewhere else what do we actually need in here not that much um, hmm. my only concern is I say it's small but that's because obviously we're going to make it into a point so it's going to need to be pretty massive Right, okay. So let's get rid of this. I'm going to have to flatten all the top of this to make it bigger. Either that or find somewhere else to put it, I guess. But everywhere, anywhere I go, I'm going to have to like flatten land or chop down trees. So may as well go here. I just don't want to build out um, like platforms, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So I don't want just want to build like a dirt platform this way, just extend it out, like overhanging, just to fit it in. So, hmm. Hmm. Maybe if we go down to, because it can be a different level to this bit. Like if we don't get rid of all of it, I'm thinking maybe if we get rid of these and go to this level, that might just be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going down two. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will bring you guys back when I have done. Oh, there's a cave. Uh oh. And hopefully have some kind of outline going on to show you. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I flattened the land, and I've started to kind of terraform it so it looks natural. What I'm thinking is getting rid of all this section. Um, but keeping it at this level like here so then the path that we build can kind of like go diagonally to here so this is the side of, of the witch's hat um, I'm really super happy with it all the inside where these gaps are, are probably going to be filled in with just I don't know some kind of stone or something just to make them flat hello zombie that won't die great another one um, so that is kind of what I'm thinking so far um, I'm probably going to do another layer, um, go away, no I need to lead him away because he's just going to be super annoying, come on, come on, come with me, 
Oh well, yeah, I want to play. Come on, come and give me a hug. I dare you. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing? Oh great, thanks guys. Everybody's here for a party. Oh, right, okay. Right, let's fly back really quick. Hopefully they'll they'll stay over there. So what I am thinking is, uh, let's just load this up. So what I'm thinking is that this bottom brim obviously needs to be wider. Um, but what I think is the best thing to do is going to be to do it like this in the floor. Um, and do that all the way around and almost use it like the path. I don't know. I may change it. I, I was going to do it um, at this level. And just make it a bit wider all the way around there. So it looks like a witch's hat. But see that to me looks better. But than it being in the floor I guess. Because you can see it. But. Hmm. It is going to make it taller. Not that that really matters I guess. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to do it the. Uh, I think we're going to do it over the top. I don't think it'll matter too much. It's not going to make it too much taller. Um, okay, good. But that is the plan. So basically, all I'm going to do is keep going around. Um, and obviously, at the moment, we are going one in. Okay, so that's the second layer done. And then I think. We will go maybe in one more. Um, let me look. Let me look. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go in one more, and then the next layer is going to be the same one. Well, we need to go one more because we need to put the the belt loop in. Um, so let me just get rid of these. Two. Oh, he's back. Great. Just what we wanted. Not. Um, so we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we can do. If we put them there, we want it to be in the center. So we've got one, two, three. If I just take one off for now, he's going to hit me any second. Yep, drop in and then you're stuck. <laughs> Stupid thing. Is that. That center one two three four one two three four yeah. So if we put these like this and across like this, and then this in the middle, and then this is going to go all the way around. And then the next layer to give you guys an idea is going to go in and then probably in again and then it, it'll need to be let's see what that looks like from over here you like that oh I like that I was worried that um Hmm, that this was going to be too flat unless unless I bring these purple bits back and have this on its own like level maybe let's try this let's get rid of some of this and I will show you what I'm thinking so get rid of this um So it would be. Go away, you're so annoying. Like this here. And then here. And then. Um, okay. And then. This bit will 
will go here. Sorry if this is super boring, but I just want to show you guys what I mean. Like that, so it sticks out. I, have, I actually, you know what? I think that does look better. Hello. You got yourself trapped in there, didn't you, dude? Like that, so it sticks out one all the way around. I think that looks better, actually. So that is what I'm going to continue doing. And then I am basically going to bring it up to kind of a point, hopefully like this side of it. And then do like the last little bit of hat kind of to the side, hopefully. So that is what I'm going to be getting on with. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you think this is cool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Obviously, we're going to have to put a door in here. But um, you know what? We might just put it in the center here and do like a, a carpenter's door so it blends in. That'd be really cool, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So that is what I am planning on doing. Um, and that was what we will be finishing off hopefully in the next episode so I hope you've enjoyed this um, I'm really liking doing all the different um, buildings for all my different like areas and things that I need it'd be nice to chop that <laughs> chop it down it'd be nice to knock that building down um, oh, I'm so happy with it look how cool it looks oh I know that I'm, I know I'm biased because I built it but I'm really happy and um, I think the twilight canopy tree is really really make it look cool oh I can't wait to get it finished I know what I'm doing for the next <laughs> over the weekend the next like three days I'm just building a wizard hat so um I'll probably post um hopefully if I remember I'll post some update pictures on Twitter so make sure you look out for those um before if you if you want to see it before the next episode but anyway I'm gonna leave this episode here I hope you've enjoyed it um, I hope you're all having a fabulous week um, and it's very nearly Christmas so it's super exciting yay Christmas um, if you don't celebrate Christmas then happy whatever you celebrate um, I know some people don't celebrate it so I'm sorry if you don't but um, I certainly do and I'm so super excited so I really can't wait. I was going to actually try and build a Christmas tree here and I still want to do it. Um, so the wizard's hat may take a bit of a backseat just for one episode while I build a tree. But we'll see what happens. So I hope you all have a fabulous week. Again, please leave comments on what you think about the hat and how um, it's looking. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>